Three, two, one, action. Welcome back to my channel. Today I have a very special guest, my first ever collab. Hi! <laughs> Why don't you introduce yourself to the Katie Faith fam? Hi, my name is Clara Estelle. I have a YouTube channel as well. So. <laughs> <laughs> good intro, good intro. So, as you guys probably know, I don't do very many collabs. This is my first collab, but today I'm going to be interviewing Clara Estelle. And I feel like these are some questions you guys may want to know. So. <laughs> Just kidding, they're not that juicy, but I think you guys still might enjoy it anyway. I'm going to tell you guys, make sure to go subscribe to Clara Estelle. It is a requirement for you guys to subscribe to Clara Estelle. It's like payment for watching this video, so go subscribe to her. I'll put her channel in here and up here. She has not seen these questions. I've seen hers, but she has not seen mine. So, oh God. this is the truth. The tea. Also, um, if you want to see part two where I get interviewed, if you want to know the tea about me, then you have to go over to her channel. Link will also be in the description and also probably up there if I can figure that out, so. <laughs> All right, so let's go ahead and get started. This first question is funny because I read her questions and this first one is very, very similar to my first question. So, what is your least favorite video on your channel? Well, I really, the collab with Miriam, I forgot to like import the full video of the digital art, and so I had the screen recording of my iPad, but I was oh. zooming the whole time, so it gave me like a headache editing it, oh. and I know like this is awful to rewatch, but like since it was a collab, I had to post it anyways, <laughs> so that one was not very much fun to film. Yeah, so like when you look back on it, that's probably like, eh, not your favorite. Yeah, especially just like, I didn't have the hindsight to like, just take like, not zoom in the entire time. <laughs> yeah. And then the way I edited it just made it slightly worse. So if you're yeah. watching this, the other person in the collab, that was her least favorite video. <laughs> just oh. kidding. <laughs> it's not your fault. <laughs> okay. Like, copying his art style just not my thing, I don't think. Yeah, me neither. I barely even have an art style myself. <laughs> so second question, what is your spirit animal? I been told that my spirit animal is like a deer and an owl. Yeah. I think it's yeah. because of like my brown hair and then the owl because my wisdom, but my patronus is actually an eagle, so I think an eagle is most fitting. What is that? <laughs> what is a patronus? <laughs> I'm like Harry Potter people will do. It's like whenever a Harry Potter ca character will cast a spell oh, like against Harry Potter. Potter. <laughs> yes, it's Harry Potter. Oh um, we cast a spell against the yeah, the like spell would appear as a certain type of animal that's like kind of your spirit animal. Oh, so how do you figure out which one it is? Well, I know like the website Pottermore has like tests to see which house you're in, like your Patronus, which character you must like, so that's how I find I do know what house I'm in. I am a Ravenclaw. Oh, so. yes! Are you too? Yes! That is the base for a good friendship right there if you're the same Harry Potter house. All right, question three. Where do you see yourself in five years? That's tricky. I mean, like, I would be a senior yeah. in high school or like, yeah, I would be a, s no, I think I would be in college. Whoa, so, really? Yeah, I'm in eighth grade. Wait. Oh gosh, no, my math's off. I'm just like done for the week. Okay. <laughs> I vlogged out. You vlogged out. <laughs> you would be a senior, I think. Yeah, I think I'd be a senior. So yeah, hopefully grad <laughs> high school <laughs> hopefully playing volleyball and you know straight A's because I'm a bit of a nerd hopefully I've signed to some sort of college yeah um and I'm still doing YouTube yeah and you're famous <laughs> I'll be yeah five million Easily. subscribers <laughs> next question this one's a little bit a little bit interesting um what is the weirdest comment you've ever received on a YouTube video <laughs> that you're willing to share because I've gotten some weird ones that I don't think I could share <laughs> Yeah, I've gotten like we. I think we all get spam ones, like yeah, weird stuff like that. That's why you have to like be there the first ten minutes that your video is uploaded to like make sure you can delete and filter through inappropriate comments. But I do know that there was like when I first started my YouTube channel, I got this comment saying like, "Great work, that was an awesome video," and I was super excited because it was like one of my first comments. And I looked at the channel, I'm like, "Oh gosh, this guy has like fifty thousand subscribers. This is insane that someone like that found my channel." Then I realized that it was like a complete spam account, and everyone else subscribed to him was because he's commented on other people's videos. Oh, wow! So 
so that was a little unfortunate, but also like my my grandparents and like my family will comment on my videos under aliases, of course. And sometimes they'll like call me by an embarrassing nickname or things like that. Yeah, that's happened to me too. This is kind of the opposite. What is the best or nicest or most comment that made you get the most excited that you ever saw? Well, I got one comment, um, like it was like full PDF document comment. Whoa. It was, like, so long. And it was just like complimenting everything I was doing and like, <laughs> yeah. like God bless me, like stuff like that. It was so nice. Yeah. And I was, like, I was on vacation at the time. And so I, I was like literally just like beaming, sitting there reading this letter. And here's like, my brother looked over at me. He's like, Why are you smiling? Like, we've been in the car for eight hours. <laughs> Um, what is your favorite and least favorite class or subject in school? My least favorite currently is probably my math class. Mm. It's just like not very fun right now. <laughs> Which is not very challenging because I've like, I've been in math scene so I already kind of know what we're learning. So it's just not too much fun. And then my favorite class right now is probably my Spanish class. Oh, you're taking, are you in Spanish one? Um, yes, I am. To me, <laughs> <laughs> like, um, <laughs> like, Especially because our teacher currently listens to a lot of songs. So like I used to have regular music stuck in my head until I went to my Spanish one class. <laughs> and now I have like ten air, two half, ten air, two half, yo tango, Yeah. Yeah, we have like a number song and an outfit song. Yes. And like every song. Okay, um, next question. This one, um, I'm not gonna get offended by your answer, but I wanna know. <laughs> oh gosh. I'm scared. If you hear somebody talking about Clara in the background, I have a cat that's named Clara. That, that, yeah, I've heard that before. Yeah. And I, like, at first I was like, what? <laughs> I thought someone else in my house calling my name, but then I, like, looked down because we were petting a cat, so. The question was, what is something about my art that I should work on? Ooh, that's tricky. I won't be offended because my art is not amazing, so it's okay. I don't really no. I mean, you use a wide variety of supplies, which is something like I wanted to do. Like I can only use like colored pencils and markers sometimes, but like I've seen you use watercolor and like chalk and pastels, I believe. I mean, I guess just people in general. I yeah. struggle <laughs> with like hands are the worst thing yeah. ever. Cause, and I want to get good at people because I've like watched drawing with waffles and they, you know, are really good. Yeah. <laughs> really good at drawing people and do all these fun character designs. In one of my create this book two pages, it was like draw a character from three adjectives. I can't believe I drew that. It was so bad. I <laughs> for that one, I did a animal because I was so scared. Cheater. About <laughs> yes, I had well <laughs> like interpretation. Alright, describe your perfect day from start to finish. You can be anywhere in the world with anybody you want. What would be the perfect day? Oh, that's 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 a hard question. <laughs> um, I wake up like incredibly early because if like you have a full day, yeah, like you're I'm right. not gonna wait. So I'd like wake up. I'm talking like 3 a.m. Oh <laughs> wow, super early. I usually wake up at like 5:30, so that's not. I would take a private jet um, to Paris. Wow. Yes, and I would go see the Eiffel Tower with like just my family, my immediate family. Uh, this is. In my perfect day, coronavirus wouldn't be here. Oh, um, yeah, obviously, of course. And then, yeah, just spend the day in Paris with my family, or maybe actually Greece. Yeah, never. Mind. I changed my answer. <laughs> Greece. That's really cool. And oh, I would also probably go zip lining, because that is something I've always wanted oh, to I do. I went zip lining a, a few weeks ago. ago. Oh, you did? But it was actually like, over a lake, lake with a friend. friend. It was fun until you <laughs> the stop. It was oh, like, I was, yeah, that part is scary. I did like. I thought we were gonna fall. It like went the whole like thing just slammed to the side, and it took a picture of us. But my hair flew in <laughs> to my face. Oh my god! So the picture that it froze was like my face going so scared, and then hair like just <laughs> coming out of my face. We love those pictures. <laughs> yeah. This one is kind of a hint for a future video, but what is the biggest tip for me doing squishy makeovers for the first time? Well, one of the things I definitely wished I would have learned was that thicker coats don't help as much as you think they would. When I first okay. tried, I started doing like massively thick coats and then it would like never dry. Also, <laughs> if you don't feel like wasting 50 hours on each squishy, 
I would suggest using like a, a blow dryer to dry it really quickly. Oh yeah. Yeah, I don't know, I'm kind of nervous to even try this. It, it'll be coming in a few weeks. If you're like, where is that video? Why has it come yet? It's probably because I'm taking a long time to do it. So just be aware. What are three things you cannot live without? Ooh, that's, again, very tricky. <laughs> probably like, I mean, I would say like, of course my family, stuff like that. But if you're talking like items, objects, yeah. Like books in general, I don't think I could live without books. <laughs> music, definitely. I listen to like so much music. Everything I do, I listen to music or like watch a show in the background. It, it seems pathetic to say my phone, but probably my phone. <laughs> yeah. And then, I mean, I guess my glasses, because I do. <laughs> Good point, it's a very practical item. Yeah, that's a practical item. And like, right now I have contacts in, because it like creates an odd glare on my eyes, <laughs> whenever I use my glasses, but. Oh, yeah. What is a common assumption about you, maybe that your YouTube viewers make that is not true? I have gotten many comments that when they first watched my video on Mariah Elizabeth's playlist that they thought it was a younger version of Mariah Elizabeth. And I thought that was pretty interesting. Like how did that happen? Yeah, I'm like, you do know this video was uploaded like last month, right? Yeah. <laughs> this one is kind of deep. I don't know, I just thought of this, I thought I might ask you. Do you believe in soulmates? <sighs> I don't know, I for breath. people who that is like what they want to find a soulmate then yes i think like if you really want to find a soulmate you will find one i feel like god's gonna place one in your life for you but i also think like you don't need a soulmate to be happy and to be successful and stuff like that if like that's yeah. not what you're wanting in your life i don't think you need it at all in any means yeah i think that the soulmates like do exist but even if you're not with a soulmate necessarily you could still yeah. like be married to somebody and have a perfectly happy life because there's a good person yeah it is weird because like whenever you do get married you've only met like you think about this seven billion people on the earth like what are the chances that you're actually just gonna run into your soulmate like yeah, very, just rolling very so hard. like i read this statistic i don't know if it's like true or not but like you've probably walked past like five serial killers in your life that's <laughs> So I'm like, how many like soulmates? Have you like possibly walked past your soulmate? Three more questions. If you had a superpower, what would you choose if you could pick one? Probably to fly. I think that would be so cool. Or like probably to fly or super speed. Like yeah, fly super speed. So I could also like time travel apparently. <laughs> yeah. Revealed in some of the later seasons. This next question is kind of weird and I just thought of it last second. So. What is the last time you were jealous and why were you jealous? <laughs> That's hard. Um, I'm gonna have to rack my brain. Um, oh, I guess the like, technically this isn't even like deep at all or interesting really, but yesterday we played a game in our Spanish class and this girl won, like it's called Look It. And so you can swap with people like two seconds yeah. before it finishes. And this, so I had like the most money because I had answered the most questions. But then at the end, someone got like super lucky and got a swap and swap with me like two uh, seconds before the game ended and then I lost. So that was annoying. I was That's annoying. that she just got a, like a swap randomly at the end. But. Yeah. All right, so the final question is, what do you want to say to my viewers on my channel? Um, congrats, you have chosen a great YouTuber to watch. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, subscribe to my channel. <laughs> there you go. That's a pretty, yeah, straightforward. Yeah. Subscribe to Clara Estella's channel. And um, we really want to get to her to 1,000 subscribers. So please, please go subscribe to her channel. We make very similar content. So you'll probably like her stuff if you like my stuff. And here is the shout out from the last video. I keep forgetting to do them. So I'm sorry. But here's the shout out. Um, oh, yeah. <laughs> If you want a shout out in the next video, just comment down below, or I'll also be looking on Clara Estelle's channel, so go comment on both my video and hers to get a chance. Yes, subscribe to both of us. Go watch her video, go give her some love, yeah, yeah. That's all I have for you guys today. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you guys next Friday for not squishy makeovers, but that'll be soon. Bye!